And while the mayor and police statistics say crime is down, Sular businesses are seeing a different story. They're fed up with break-ins, fixing windows that get smashed in over and over again. Five on your side, Laura Barcheski is live in Soulard at the Cat's Meow Bar, the latest to get hit. Well, Kelly, unfortunately, fixing this window is going to cost a lot more than all of the things the thieves took. And these business owners are just tired of it. They want the city to do more about it. It's a shame because all of us work really hard to survive. Not long after the cat's meow closed up early Sunday morning, these four people went through a lot of trouble to break into the Soulard bar. I actually still have the stone that they threw up against the, the glass and it bounced off twice before they started kicking the bottom of it before they could ever get it open. We've got safety glass in it. The thieves only got away with some change, a carton of cigarettes, lighters, a bottle of Tylenol, and two open bottles of liquor. Luckily, they were able to welcome customers back in the same day. As soon as we cleaned it up enough, I mean, we, we were open the whole time, the whole time that my son and I were um, boarding it up. Before the thieves hit the cat's meow, they tried to break into Big Daddy's around the corner, but weren't successful this time. But they did make it inside about a month ago. It's really annoying having to, to worry about securing your building, which it's already secure, but I mean, it's just the fact that most of these people, all they do is cause, they cause more damage than what they take. Both business owners say they've done everything they can do, putting in more security cameras, alarms, extra lighting, safety glass, and keeping a watchful eye. Now they need the city to do more. All the cops come around here, I love them. They're always proactive and they're very helpful. It just seems to be we need more of them. The chairman of the Soulard Special Business District and owner of Molly's says the neighborhood is part of a special taxing district that funds safety initiatives. Most of the uh, most of the, the, the funding goes directly towards additional patrols um, through, a, through a secondary uh, security company. He says a lot of the crime in their area is committed by juveniles or very young adults. I think we need more police, but I think we need more, you know, more youth programs and more things, things of that nature. It's not just it's not just a punitive system. It's got to be something to try to fix it before it happens. All three business owners tell me they don't want people to think the area is unsafe because all of this is just more costly and annoying than anything, and it's truly not the norm. Reporting live in Soulard, Laura Barcheski, five on your side.